If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the team of the week. Week three, right? It's out. We get the early reveal, of course. Well, the, the early reveal is out. The actual content itself, as you guys know, will drop between one and three. Pending, right? A lot of big news. Double LTDs today for a breaking record from Justin Tucker, which I'll go over as well. New Red Iron Forge coming, a free player, lots to go over, so let's get into it. So, quick updates here, server maintenance, the usual, no need to discuss that, we know the deal with that. AP limit, AP update changes, targeted to release tomorrow, more details tomorrow with RG. So guys, stay tuned, there will be an AP limit update, which means, you know, more ability points, unless they were to bring it down, but it probably goes up, right? Give or take. Here is the week of, this is the monthly rewards, right, for September, the month of September. So if you guys played a weekend link throughout the year... I'm about to month, sorry. Here are going to be your rewards depending on how you place and how many total wins you had. So check this out here if you guys do want to, you know, screenshot this, pause here. That is fine. So guys, new Gridiron Forge solos targeted to come pretty soon. Are you ready to test your might? Take on the ever-increasing trials of the Gridiron Forge, guys. This way, so the free player I was referencing, as you guys read here, NCAT Ezekiel Elliott. So Zeke did get a, you get a free Zeke for playing the gridiron forge guys comparable to the jc jackson from earlier in the year from the first gridiron forge that's pretty much what he's replacing that will be going away so if you guys haven't finished that i'd recommend getting on getting on getting on it as soon as you can but you will be getting a zeke for free 90 overall ezekiel elliott now he could start for you he may be a backup but either way it's not a bad reward and you guys play through you get the get a gold players you get pro fantasy packs you get gridiron packs and here you go guys this is the new zeke card ezekiel elliott 90 overall Pretty fire card art, honestly. I like it even better than the JC Jacksons. Uh, 89 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, 85 carrying, 72 catching, 87 change of direction, 87 break tackle, 90 break tackle. Super well-rounded back, has good weight. Going to be a pretty decent back for next gen, considering you know how he plays uh, in real life. You know he's, he's like he's very powerful. He runs with power. I like him. I think he's pretty good. Now the 89 speed is a little bit low, but you can power him up. So if you power him up, you do get him to a 91 speed. So. You figure, I mean, sorry, 90 speed. So you figure he's going to be in that speed realm of where he's really usable. And he also gets good power, trucking, break tackle. Kind of has that Kareem Hump build where he's super well-rounded about everything. I like him. I think he's really good. And then, guys, if you guys want to sign up for this, this is just a tournament for Madden. Just keep in mind, look it up. Do what you got to do with that. Then, guys, we have the lower cards that we'll be getting power expansions. Miles Garrett is probably the best one that we've heard all year in terms of power expansion. Him getting this card is pretty big considering... He's now a 94 overall. This card's absolutely crazy. He'll have 84 speed, 89 excel. He'll have above 90 tackling, above 90 jumping, above 90 impact blocking, above 90 power move. You know, he's going to have a 94 power move. This card's crazy. Got Jamal Agnew as another power expansion. We got Logan Wilson as another one. We have Kareem Hunt, which is probably why I mentioned him with Z, because that I just saw him. Very similar well rounded card slow overall, of course. Byron Murphy is going to be the free end cap potential player you can get, so keep that in mind. We had Mike Williams, who I did get a blurred screenshot for, but you can go ahead and see he to get a power expansion. Now, guys, with Miles Garrett, I believe his training power up was 6,000. So if you guys want to go ahead and actually get Miles Garrett to that plus one overall, that's another 6,000 training, which is super expensive right now. So uh, up to you on that front, guys. But Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett 94 overall is pretty crazy because, guys, you figure, right? Team Diamond Master Dan Marino is 95 overall, and he's supposed to be far and ahead of better overall than everyone else. Miles Garrett's 94, powered up, right, all the way. So that's pretty crazy. Just keep, you know, just keep that in mind. But yeah, let's get into the um, the top cards here. Next, guys, we have Teddy Bruschi for the first defensive hero of the Team of the Week, Week 3 Legends, right? Now, we got Teddy Bruschi, middle linebacker for the Patriots. He's a field general. Now, again, middle linebackers, one of those positions when you see, you just don't get too excited regardless of stats, unless they have some crazy speed realistically but he has 88 speed which is decent not incredible but decent 90 excel is good 87 strength is good 88 tackle is good 90 play rec that's really good 89 block show which means powered up of a 90 block shed you have an 80 zone powered up and 88 hit power this card is decent uh if you have a patch team team of course he's gonna make it on there now in terms of a meta team a court metal linebackers just have not been the move for the last year or so so i mean i really hate that actually because i used to love middle linebackers one of my favorite positions to buy in Madden every year for my user back. But ever since the safety, you know, the safety meta took over, it's kind of been dead for middle linebackers for quite a while. I really, I personally think for Mutt to get on like a right track, EA should really make positions very uh, like strict and you can't move a safety into the box. Like th th there could be a box safety, 
But there can't be like say like your linebackers can't just be safety and putting them at sub linebacker. You know what I mean? Like they gotta or, or, or they drop in stats a bit if they actually put a linebacker or only certain packages. I don't know, but something just to limit it a little bit to limit linebackers have a use and make them jump a little bit more, right? We have Ronnie Brown, halfback for the Dolphins. Not the most exciting pick here uh, for the offensive legends pick. 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility, 89 carrying, 68 catching, 91 change direction, 89 trucking, and 89 break tackle. Now, among all the running backs that pretty much look exactly like him because EA loves dropping halfbacks like this, um, you know, the 90 speed, 91 excels. He's probably one of the worst ones of the bunch. He has no truck. Well, virtually close to no truck. You know, 79 truck's not going to be anything special. Uh, he's an elusive back. He's not going to have too much power more than likely. You know, I mean, in terms of like strength and stuff. Then he has low catching. So he can't receive too well. I mean, Reggie Bush and all those guys are going to be better. So personally, the Legends this week are kind of an L. I wouldn't recommend picking up any of them unless you have like a theme team or you have some specific love for that player. In my personal opinion, that's probably the only reason, like the, the only reasons I would get these guys. Otherwise, I'd probably avoid both of them. But the next ones do start to get better, guys. We have Shaq Barrett, who I actually was going to predict in my predictions, and I didn't, which I'm kind of upset about. 85 speed, 89 excel, 79 strength, 90 tackle, 92 play rec, 88 block shed, 82 power move, and 93 finesse move. This card's actually really good because he will have an 86 speed with 90 excel powered up, not to mention that he will have a 94 finesse move, which makes him one of the best, if not the best, finesse rusher in the game. Not to mention his block shed is an 89 powered up. So with one strategy card upgrade, like a plus one, anything, he will have a 90 block shed with a 94 finesse move while also being simultaneously really fast with great tackles, well, and play rec. This is one of the best outside linebackers in the game right now. That are probably expensive because of course he is an LTD, but he's still really, really good. I mean, he might be worth the price depending, but he's good. I mean, a lot of people probably will end up finding that he'll probably find his way into a few teams that can afford him. And finally, guys, we have went the wrong way. We have Josh Allen. This is the one a lot of you guys have been waiting for. Josh Allen's probably going to be the best quarterback in Mutt for a little bit. I mean, 83 speed, 91 throw power, 91 short, 86 medium, 89 deep, 84 throw under pressure, 93 throw in the run, 86 play action. Now, they did something I did not think they would do. They gave him two throwing thresholds. This card's crazy. Okay, so you combine them right now. The only reason he's not the stats I predicted yesterday is because they didn't give him the LTD, which dropped him down pretty much in overall, which is where I kind of saw his speed being 84 plus and all that. But... He will have an 84 speed powered up, which makes him one of the faster quarterbacks in the game, right? Just enough to do stuff. He will have 92 throw power powered up, which makes him one of the strongest arm quarterbacks in the game. He will have above 90 short and above 90 deep, which does make him a threshold thrower at those spots, which makes him really accurate. And he will have a 94 throw on the run, which makes him really good off the run. And he gets Gunslinger. This card's going to be crazy. I don't know what other ability he's going to get, but I know at least on that front, he's going to be really, really good. And then, guys, we have the Record Breaker card, which is going to be a special extra LTD they dropped for Justin Tucker, getting a game-winning field goal that also broke the NFL uh, field goal record. I believe he kicked a 66-yard field goal, which is just crazy. I mean, I think they should have done a few things differently with him, though. They gave him a 93 kick power. I think it should have been higher. He broke the record in the NFL. I mean, I understand it's much so they got to like, keep him down, but that means that like in a month or two or three months, eventually, kickers will have higher kick power, so then he's not the strongest kicker in the game. I really think they, or they should have a power expansion to when that comes, but they should have given him like a 97 kick power, just made him that crazy kicker for the rest of the year. Now, of course, he's the LTD, not everyone's going to afford him, no one's going to buy him, but make him what he's worth, right? That top tier, that top tier kicker. And then, of course, if people can't afford him, that's fine. And later in the year, when they have more affordable kickers, you can catch up in kick power, right? But you get an advantage by having him, which is something I think would be really, really cool. But Justin Tucker, 92, 93 kick power, 88 kick accuracy, 92 awareness. You do power him up and everything, which is not actually possible for kickers, right? strategy cards none of that stuff is going to really like, change much on that so you're kind of locked in like a, a 93 kick power so really really good gonna be super good at kicking i really wish they would have given him like a 97 kick power and that would have just made him like you know super exclusive and then only some people could have him, which would have been really cool but 76 excel 68 speed not gonna be anything crazy in terms of being able to like do other you know other crazy stuff with him in terms of faking so don't don't look don't look forward to that but guys that's better for that Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below. If you guys want to pick up any of these players today, this will drop probably between two and three, one and three Eastern time, give or take, right? Uh, if you guys need coins, head down below to my sponsor. You can pick up some super cheap coins, buy all these players for pretty cheap, quite honestly. So take advantage. Always use my code for an extra discount, which does add up when you spend a lot of, when you buy a lot of coins, right? But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm out. Peace.